Hello everyone, welcome back. So the author TG has released a new mod. This one is called TG's Andromeda's Palace. It is a pay mod. It costs 400 creation credits. And I want to give you guys an entire tour of this location. Maybe help you out in your decision. If it's something you want to buy, get for yourself. And as well as tell you the secret in this mod. Because of course, being a TG mod, there's going to be at least a secret. So let's get started. After you get the mod and you load it into your game, the quest should pop up automatically for you. And all you have to do is just follow, go to that location, and you should end up here at the landing pad. And for those of you who have done the Sarah's commitment quest, you'll recognize this area. It is very close to this place called Dauntless Cruise Crashing Site and it should not affect the quest. The author stated that it is near that location and there's been some edits around it. However, it should not affect the quest or anything like that. But just to be safe, you could, you know, get that quest done before it. So over here at the top, there's a, a tree house here. Nothing fancy. There's nothing going on. It's just a bed and a few workbenches and things like that. So yeah, this is this is just here. And you can also decorate it if you like. So it's a tiny place, but it is there. And uh, we're gonna go to that area later on. I wanna show you guys this thing that is underneath the landing pad. So you can drop down here and there is this kind of beautiful forest very avatar looking thing just underneath the landing pad there is also access to this area from the outside it's kind of kind of nice kind of pretty beautiful this whole thing and uh, let me see so there is a cave down there and uh, that is the entrance and by the way this cave if you just follow this cave and you go outside there's going to be actually a path and the path will lead you to that camp for the quest for Sarah's commitment so you're gonna see that path that leads all the way down if you follow it it will just basically take you to that area but for now I think we can go back to the top you know what i think we're gonna go back to the top from here there is a tiny little gazebo uh, i think this is what you call like there's a there's actually two there's one here that you can kind of see around and you can sit it's pretty nice and this is the other side so this is this is a i guess a party area uh with a with a couple of infinity pools so the landing pad is ahead uh where we were we dropped down we went through the cave and we came out on this side so you have a lot of uh, pools you have one here is this what you call an infinity pool i think right and there is another pool in here So a few interconnected pools and a uh, waterfall. So that's what you have here. And of course you can always decorate this area by going to the console or if you want, you can also just bring up the scanner and you can just do it. And I think two beds, you cannot sleep here, uh, but, but you have two beds. And this is what you have here in this area. So now I think we can go to kind of the main house. So you can walk through here and there's another waterfall here and there is another kind of gazebo thingy over there. And you have a big view. This is a nice view. So the view is pretty good here. Now inside here, so there is the ramp from the landing pad and you have this thing outside which is i guess a, i guess a trading post uh not much going on just a few benches this door this door you cannot open but when i went to the other side from the outside it's just an exit door 
it's not nothing secret, nothing, nothing like that. Because you can just simply just kind of go around, and you're gonna see another door. And I think that's that's kind of that door. Um, you cannot open this one either. So yeah, but I don't think there's anything going on. Um, didn't see anything at the top either, so didn't find any secrets here on the outside. And anyway, the first time when you come in here, you're gonna find the key just laying down there. And there's a body, a cadaver, a skeleton here. I don't know why. I don't know what it is with the bodies outside the mansions. This is the second mod from this author where we have a body just outside in an otherwise uh, beautiful location. So, all right, so we can also decorate the outside if you like, but otherwise you can just go in. And this is the inside. So there is a decorate console there. There is also this thing that I guess gives you a story of this uh, facility. If you like, you can, you can read it. But basically this is built on top of some lava, some mountain. And you have this thing, and if you just jump in, you're gonna burn. But we have a lot of rooms, so we're gonna go down there later. We're gonna first go here on the right, and you have this party area, a kitchen, and all this party area. And there is a switch here that you can close it, so you have a floor here, or then if you open it up, you can now see a glass floor with lava and this kind of goes to the other side there's another one here as well and there's another one here as well and now i'm gonna take you to the inside so here a pool area and this is a bathroom a restroom that leads to this indoor pool and again there is all these rocks the squares the cubes uh, I think uh, starborn thingy cubes um, if you kind of walk on them they they move uh, waterfall is pretty nice this is a very nice place uh, but that is it not a lot going on in comparison to the previews the island mansion this place is definitely smaller which is probably why it's only 400 credits instead of uh, 600 and we have a bunch of rooms so empty rooms that you can decorate there is a laundry room here that you could also decorate and we also have this empty room and a kind of like a storage library and uh, we're gonna come back to this room later on after that, more rooms is mostly just a ton of smaller rooms just around. A bedroom here. I did not find any secrets here either. It's just no hidden switches at least that I could find. But it is kind of a little bit furnished. And let's see what else. Uh, that's the entrance. There is another room upstairs. So there is this kind of uh, area I'm not sure how would you call this maybe office space type of thing just rooms upstairs here the small and another big room kind of living room with I think this is a bathroom or maybe a master bedroom if you will I think this could be and you can kind of see that pillar of lava the mountain so all right let's go let's go down and i think that is it oh there's a mini there's a mini balcony here that you can look out and that's pretty much it so at the center there is a infirmary just an infirmary and uh, of course you can also use all the equipment and that is that is it there's a conference room here uh, again no secrets that I could find 
And now, I take you guys to this side, which, which is kind of strange. I was hoping that there would be something here, but there is actually not much going on. So it looks like they were digging here and uh, you can open this door using this switch. But once you go in, all there is is just a dead end, an empty, empty cave. So not much, not much going on here. There is this door that you can kind of try to open. It will move around, but it doesn't do anything. So the only secret that I found so let me take you guys there. We're going to go to the library. Where's the library? I think the library is here. One of these rooms. Uh, not this one. This one. So that's a library. There is a, there's a book on the floor that you can, uh, you can pick up and you can read. And then you see a bunch of books. So I thought that there would be a switch hidden behind it. But actually, it is this book, this one particular that says, um, I cannot read what it says there, but you interact with it and this opens, this bookshelf opens and it's actually a hidden room. It's like pretty crazy, this whole thing. It's a hidden room and uh, you can come up here, you can open this door. And you have this, another crazy, I guess, mountain cave thingy. This is pretty amazing. And uh, I thought that those two things here, maybe they, they will open. Um, but I couldn't do anything with them. They do not open. Uh, nothing that I can interact with. And there is also this uh, kind of starborn looking thing. The first time we come in here is going to be closed. The big room closed. Just open it. No key, nothing. And look at this. This reminds me of, I think, during the main mission when you have to meet the or fight the two Starborn Guardians. I think this kind of reminds me of that. Um, nothing that I can do with this thing. I think it just spins. I don't know if there's a secret there that can be unlocked. I see symbols on each of the rings, but I didn't unlock all my powers. So I don't know if matching the powers to this and activating the powers, um, it will do something that I don't know. So there's that. And there is this level, uh, stairs actually, that you can just go up. And there is a, I guess a starborn a sitting place here you're gonna find a note here that you can read it looks like somebody uh, was there and touch something um, but I couldn't find any secrets I don't know if hopefully somebody else can find something uh, antique videotape and a couple of things so yeah so a few things here and there CD player another tape and some games i went all the way uh up there to see if there is anything but uh nothing uh i cannot see any anything to interact with so yeah there you have it so this is the whole this is pretty much the entire site. I did not find any any more secrets other than this. So it is pretty cool. I do like this in uh, this this hidden place. That was very nice. If you guys find other secrets, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I went all the way up there and I couldn't see um, anything. So so yeah, that is it. So. Let me know what you guys think and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Other than that, thank you all for watching, enjoy the game and I see you all in the next video.